Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGym007, and today we're looking at the Advanced Armor Stands plugin. This is a really awesome plugin which allows you to make these cool armor stands, customize them. It's really easy to use with the GUI and very simple commands. So we're going to jump straight into it. So if you just grab yourself an armor stand and some armor, that is all we really need. So pop the armor stand down and then customize it how you want. So I'm just going to put some armor on it. And the first thing we can do is AA, which will show up the GUI. And there's a few things in here. The head section over here just shows you the head command, which allows you to get any person's head. So by doing that command, you can grab your own head and then pop it down on the armor stand. And then once we've done that, we can look at the different poses that come by default. So if you double A, click on the sword, and then in here have a ton of different poses. So you've got archer, you've got greetings, all stuff like that. If you don't want to customize it yourself and you want to do it really quickly. So let's just choose a different one, greeting two maybe, that one looks all right, we'll go with that one for now. But if you want to spend a bit more time editing the armor stand, you can also do that. So go back to body settings in the GUI, and then you can edit each extremity on their own. So the way we do this is we do forward slash AA, and then whichever one we want to edit. So RAP is going to be right arm position. And then we put three numbers down, which is the roll, pitch, and yaw and then the range that it affects so within the two block radius so you can do multiple armor strands at once now that didn't work it ended up in the middle of his body so we can go ahead and try again and that still doesn't really work so maybe if we do 20 20 and there we go that's looking more what we want to see on an armor stand so obviously you could continue doing this tweaking it making edits to make it as good as you want and let's go ahead and try another one maybe the head pose so this one's hp and then once again roll pitch and yaw so let's do 10 10 and then make sure you put the radius after and then that's going to just move his head slight to the left so if we have a look at this one here we can go into basic settings so you can do stuff like you can give them a name tag or hide the name you can change the gravity so let's go ahead and set the name for my armor stand here. So all we need to do is forward slash AA name and then using color codes and format codes you can make the name anything you want. So I'm just going to put my own name here and make it nice and bold and cyan. And there we go, that looks really nice. Obviously you could do that for every single one and make it look very cool. So there's a few other commands we can do um, with the armor stand. So if you do forward slash AA help that would show you the commands. And then if you do forward slash AA gravity, and then either on or off, um, that will allow the armor stand to either fall when you break blocks beneath it, or just hover in the air. And then once again, we always put the range so you can affect multiple armor stands around you, and now that we've turned it off, it will float. So obviously if you left click while in creative mode, you will destroy the armor stand, so just be careful where you click. Uh, make sure you don't do that to anyone you don't want to get rid of. And then the other cool command I like is AA size. You can do small or normal, and then the radius, of course, and that will make a really tiny armor stand. So that is a quick look at how you could use the plugin. Very cool, you can customize it. It's really easy to use, and it's a very cool plugin to just customize these armor stands. So here we are on the Advanced Armor Stand Spigot page, and as you can see, it's updated from 1.8 to 1.17. If we have a scroll down, you can see this is the sort of thing you can do, which we had a look at in-game. And then we've got all the commands here, so this is how you can really edit and tweak it to your liking, or you can just use the presets. And then there's various permissions that you can use, um, so you can give players the permission to do this. So if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page, it is free to download. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.